It's May 6. May is a very hot season. I mean, hot month. Uh, it's so rare to see rain. And it's raining. It was pouring like a few minutes ago. It's still drizzling. And I'm here at uh, um, one of the most beautiful places. Shouldn't even know where we are. Oh, it's raining. Listen to the people. Can you hear the services? We are the garden tomb, yes. The garden tomb is a beautiful and holy site. It um, tells us a beautiful story because according to so many Christians, this is the site that Jesus uh, died, uh, crucified, died, buried and resurrected. Let's listen a little bit to the chanting. I'm honoring that tour to you, but to Leslie and Mickey uh, Carberry um, that asked me to buy the beautiful, all the New Testament um, and to bless it at the garden tomb. And here we are. We are now entering to the beautiful viewpoint, which is totally new. They built it open it lately. The last few tours that I did here in COVID time, um, I couldn't enter here. And let's us, I don't want to disturb the people, but let's us go there. If, if you ask me what it is, and this is the place that we believe Jesus was crucified. Yes, there's another option. We will talk about it. Now, can you see the eye right there? What I want you to look at is that. The eye that is always there and the two eyes. Look at that. It looks like a skull. The question is, why here? And another question is, why there's a lot of um, buses here? Then let's start with that. We know that Jesus was crucified outside the gate, outside the walls. Then where are the walls? You can see the walls there. This is the northern wall of the city. We know when someone is being crucified um, by the Romans, the Romans want the people to know what not to do. Then in that case, it's important for us to understand that it must be a central place. And in uh, Israel and in Jerusalem, there's so many central places, but it's actually keeping the same tradition and if there is here a Palestinian bus station it means that this is still a central place people are still walking here a lot of them are coming to here through here then in that case um, it's answered the question why it's a little bit polluted and noisy in the most important place for so, so many Christians it must be a very important central space uh, places then the Calvary is right here, and, and from um, the wall you could see it even better. And um, according to the book of John, it looks exactly like that. Then Leslie and Mickey, uh, happy anniversary. I think you are celebrating now six years together, and for so many more. Let's climb up to see a little bit more better the wall. This is the northern wall of the city. Right there. 
And let's walk around the garden. That's such a beautiful day. You see the guy there is with short sleeves. He didn't know that it's going to be so rainy and cold. I myself didn't bring my coat. It's cold, but holy. When I took my daughter to here, she used to say, Abba, I'm speaking with angels here. Just like those two children. She was such a small, uh, beautiful child. She is still, but she's not so small anymore. And there's so many beautiful trees here. For example, a fig tree is in front of you. And you can see the fig, it's not a dry, it's not a dry um, fig tree, just like Jesus, you know, cursed. There's so many beautiful trees here. And it looks like Europe now, isn't it? It's like a magnet, I'm going back to the Kolkata. If you want to have your own Bible, the Old and the New Testament, they are beautiful cover uh, made of olive wood with a little bit dirt of the old city of the Jerusalem and the Lord's Prayer. You can have it. Go into um, buy me a coffee link which is at the description of uh, that video. If not, if you won't find it, write in Google Zahisha gave my name and you will see buy me a coffee link. If not, you can actually send me a message and there are a few options for you that you can buy uh, some crosses and of course the Oli, Oli book that I'm holding and I will take a video of you and bless it in special places. This time, uh, Leslie asked me to bless it at the garden tube. And you can understand why it's a, such an amazing place with such an energy, strong energy. And of course that I will send you the cross in the Bible to your home then you will have a video uh, on YouTube you will have your cross or Bible and this is priceless if you cannot reach Israel I can re you can reach Israel through me we're heading to the tomb oh it's not drizzling now it's more than that now what we know let's stay here for just a minute until another group will enter. And while we are listening to the amazing chanting, let me tell you that the um, crucifixion place was next to um, the garden of a rich man of Joseph of Ramitia. And Joseph of Ramitia gave Jesus his own tomb on Friday. Uh, because as a Jew, he was supposed to be buried at the same day. Then he was crucified on Friday. And then Joseph of Arimathea, who was part of the Sanhedrin, um, he was a Jew, but he believed in Jesus. He went to Pontus Pilate to ask the body for Je of Jesus, and he got it. Then in that matter, um, it shows us that the energy of, of or the energy or the power of Joseph of Rampia was really strong if Pontus Pilate gave him the uh, body of Jesus and they purified it, put the linen on it and buried it on at the garden of Joseph of Rampia and we are at this garden garden of a rich man although it's raining let me continue. I'm not afraid of the camera. I'm afraid of the book. Then, but the book is actually sealed. Then it's okay. In the garden, and how do we know that it's a garden of a rich man? Many because oh. Mm -hmm. 
I do know that it's a garden of a rich man. Very easy. We find here a few things that can show us to us. The first one is a water system, a huge one. It's actually, can you see that area? All of it is part of that water system, sadly. Martin, can I move you to a covered area? Yeah, thank you. Sadly, I cannot enter there, although I've tried so many times. Look how beautiful are the garden. You can see the olive trees in front of you. And another thing that belongs to the to rich man is next to here. This is a wine place. And if it's here is a wine press, then hallelujah. It means that, that it's or an institute have it or someone rich. Then we know that Joseph of Ramatia lived next to the Golgotha, which was there. And in his turn, he gave Jesus his stone that no one used before. Let me take you to here and you will see the English version, but I will read for you the Hebrew version. <clears throat> then Joseph of Ramatia in Hebrew, Yosef Ish Ramataim Venaktimon and Naktimonus Lakhuid Gufat Yeshua Jesus Yeshua salvation Vatfuta Bitachim Linton Himapsamim Kimin Haga Kvura Itzilha Yudim the Jews. Bamakom Shinitzlav Yeshua. You can read the English version? Yes, you can. Ayagan, Ubagan Kever Dash or Dlo Nachpo Ish. Sham Samut Yoshua, Ki Erev Shabbat Ayala Yudim, Vakerev Akever Karov. The Gospel of John 19, 42, 40, 42, that's you know. Then here it is, the English version, and Leslie, just like you ask me, I'm blessing the Bible for you. Let's hide from the rain. Do not afraid. Came seeking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified, but he is not here, for he is risen. And this is the most important thing. Not the, the tomb itself, not the empty tomb of Jesus. Then. Here it is in front of you. It's still raining. I cannot understand it. Then there's a line of people. And the European and the Americans, they don't afraid of rain, but the Israelis, we are melting of it. The tomb is in front of you. And uh, before we will enter the tomb, let me tell you that... Um, they, uh, let me tell you the idea and the strange part of a new tomb in which no one had yet been laid. This is something very important because uh, a Jewish tomb, people use it many times and uh, there usually there are some niches, some places to bury the people. But what will happen if there's no more space? Then they will take the oldest uh, body, the bones actually, they will put it in a small osory and then someone else can be buried there. Then the idea of no one being buried here, now we can understand it because Jesus called kind of a virgin tomb. Let's stand in the line and I will show you Leslie and Mickey Carberry that small osories. That's where they put the bones in. Until we will go, until we will enter, let me tell you that you can see the rolling stone here. It's not the rolling stone of that cave, but you can see where the rolling stone canal tunnel used to be, or canal. 
used to be. And that place is working on the nation. Then if it's okay by you later on, put some shekels, dollars, euro at the entrance and help them to maintain that amazing place. Still the people there? I will wait. Oh, okay. I will be quiet. Remember, the story is not about the tomb. The story is about that he's not in the tomb. Oops. Just a moment. Then the last question, and I say that I will talk about it later, was about why there are two places that mention the same story. Then let's start with it. And again, it's not, um, I cannot say who's better because it's not important for me. What is important for me is that he will choose one of those places and pray. Then it's better to visit it. Then what's the difference? Uh, from the 4th century, St. Helen uh, um, point on one place that that is the place that he was crucified, died, buried in history. I'm sorry, right? and that is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. But the 18th, 19th century, people started to ask questions. And one question was, how can it be that the tomb of Jesus is inside the city? The Jews are not being crucified. I mean, the Jews are not being buried in the, uh, uh, inside the city. Then in that case, they started to look for another option. And another a question that they ask is, what is the Golgotha? And they found a place that we are actually visiting now, and you saw the skull that looks exactly like a skull. Look exactly like uh, uh, the place which is outside Damascus Gate. And you saw it uh, like a few minutes ago, that tell you exactly 70 minutes ago. Then in that case, they looked for a rich man garden and we are visiting that rich man garden. Just follow the book of John and you will see that it can be the site. Um, it belongs to the Church of England, but uh, some other Protestant, uh, some other Christians are visiting that place and pray. And And why not accept it as that one? The Church of the Holy Sepulchre is in the center of the city. It's the Times Square of the city, surrounded with a wall. And uh, the our argument for him here and then and there, I can convince you that the garden tomb is the place. I can convince you that the Church of the Holy Sepulchre is the place. I don't want to do that. I want you to be confi uh, I want you to visit both places and to decide by yourself. The only thing that I would ask is not to get some marks and say, "All right, this is not the place. This is the place. The only place." 
I mean, you can say it, but except that others believe in the same story in different places, in different ways. And guess what? It's more than beautiful. Then, if you like that video, first of all, leave a message for Leslie and uh, Mickey Carb uh, Carberry. Happy anniversary. They are celebrating six years for million years more. And then, write whatever you want. But now, let's listen to the chanting for two minutes. Let's go, let's get closer. Oh, the sun is going out. Mm. Not anymore. Then, my dear friends, we will go to the Golgotha again and we will pray for two minutes. Uh, everyone, please pray and don't forget to bless Leslie and making your prayers as well. And I will be quiet, don't worry. I promise to be quiet in those two minutes. If you reach that part of the video, please mention it. I will be happy to know it. Um, if you do have some questions, don't hesitate, I will answer it. And if I won't know the question, the answer, I will tell you that I don't know the answer. And listen to it.
Thank you very much for, for being with me on this freezing and beautiful day. See you in my next video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.